Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Berry Reviews, welcome to Edinburgh. Now, uh, a brew dog last night and I picked this up. This is Practice What You Peach. It's a collaboration between Brewdog and La Trap. Uh, Netherlands Brewery, you'll know La Trap. You'll have seen their stuff. Um, you'll see their stuff in supermarkets. Absolutely cracking brewer. Um, 10% ABV. Uh, La Trap are um, Trappist monks and their stuff is get this open uh, and the stuff is abbey brewed so it's a proper proper pucker pucker stuff um my brew dog glass from last night as well uh, so this is a um a quadruple with scottish heather honey so my feeling is my bet is that really the only thing that brew dog have brought to this part is some scottish heather honey and that might not be a nice thing to say about brew dog but this will have been brewed by the monks i feel fairly certain of it fairly certain of it so being a glass oh beautiful aromas i have to say some beautiful aromas so being a glass that has ports what i like to call a dark russet color but it's got that almost like reddish tint to it. There's a reddish tint to it, which gives it that russet colour. Um, and a beautiful, beautiful cream, actually, just off white head. Looks good. Let's get that aroma, shall we? Oh. That is a dreamy. That is a dreamy aroma. 10% you can smell booze, it is boozy, it's malty, it's sweet, got fruity flavours in there as well, fruity aromas in there, so you got the typical, you got these plum and your raisin coming through, smells divine, let's taste show cheers everybody. That is, that is a cracking beer. It just follows the nose. Mm. So yeah, it's boozy. But not too boozy, if I'm being honest. It is very very drinkable there's a multi flavor in there you can taste the honey the honey's coming through really well it is nice it is good and you are tasting those um those fruits I must say from a fruity side though it's not coming across on the aroma you could smell the peat uh, the the plum sorry you could smell the raisins flavor wise it's just merging a little bit into a, a, a fruity flavor a little bit of licorice coming through a lovely bit of licorice flavor coming through and a really, really, for me, a really amazing bitterness. But like I say, I think the trapper behind this, they've brewed it. They've put all their expertise into brewing this beer. And like I say, brew dog, they'll have sent people over. They'll have sent people over to the Netherlands and kind of watch it being brewed and press start buttons on mash tons and fermenters and that sort of thing and they brought the um, honey but that is a lovely bit 
I wish they'd have had this. Didn't tell it on cask, I don't think, in the brew dog last night. Just the bottles. Good beer. Mmm. Amazing beer. That's a good one, Brewdog. Like that one. That's a good one, the trap. I like that one. Um, score wise, I'm going to score this 10 out of 10. It is really nice beer. It is really, really smooth. It tastes boozy. It smells boozy. But I think you could drink a couple of these and not be too affected by it. It's just got a wonderful way with it. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely beer. The flavours are there. The aromas are there. The honey does add something to it. It adds that sweetness. It, it's, it's a lovely little gentle sweetness all the way through. It's a 10 out of 10. Uh, comment if you've had this. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Mind upon that, wherever you are drinking. Please enjoy it until the next review. Cheers, everybody.